with the Denture family. I am so sorry I have missed a lot, several Vlogmas days. So we're going to catch up, I promise. Um, and I do have a couple of other videos that I still have to upload. So they'll be uploaded right before this one, which hopefully I will get done tonight because I'm finally done with work. I've got my client's newsletters all done. I have one of them I have to make an adjustment on. But, hey, just got uh, finished at Aspen Dental but for my adjustments on my new ones. Um, they feel so much better. Especially in the back of the palate where it was at the edge of it was digging into my um, to the roof of my mouth to my palate. Oh man, that hurt. That was really hurt. And I was trying to continue to wear them to see if there was any new places that popped up. And so far so good. But as the dentist and the dentist himself did this um, uh, today, he did actually did the adjustments, looked at my mouth and, and determined where the issues were. So and he whittled down quite a bit on these these upper sides here and then smoothed out that edge and polished it and my <laughs> camera is moving. I'm turning here on a curvy road a little bit. But um, anyway, they feel so much better. And he said, wear them for a few days and there may be, you know, let them know if there's any new spots that pop up or, or whatever because it's possible that um, once these are fixed, the other issues may pop up. So, anyway, <clears throat> got these adjustments done. Um, as I said before, my dad is still in the hospital. He came out of ICU yesterday afternoon, and he is in a regular room, still confused. The day before yesterday, he could tell me he was in UT Hospital, and yesterday he was in Daytona for the races. I guess I don't know, but. <laughs> He's funny. Um, I think we have a little bit of ICU psychosis going on there because in ICU you can't, I mean you can't sleep because they're waking you up every hour to check your vital signs and to check on you. I mean if not more often. And I mean when do you sleep in a situation like that? And if you don't sleep, especially in the elderly, already with some you know, mild dementia with the forgetfulness that dad already had. Um, I mean, that can add to the confusion. So, I mean, really, I think I'd be confused as to where I was at, and I really wouldn't want to be in those, but I'd much rather be in Daytona, especially right now with the 25 degree weather. Yeah, I don't like the cold weather at all. But, I just got finished with Aspen. I'm heading over to the hospital now. I brought my computer with me so I can get some work done. Hopefully, um, if I remember to bring the cord that goes from my phone to the computer, I can transfer that file over and get these uploaded today, I hope. I think I've got two other videos. So we've got, what, episodes five, six, and this will be number seven. And we had to have 24 episodes, so hey, come on. It's early in the morning. I may have another one tonight. You never know. Last night had uh, choir practice at church. We're doing an amazing performance. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen The Greatest Showman, but we're doing two of the songs in our Christmas uh, program. We're doing two of the songs from that one. We're doing This Is Me, which is the choir that I'm in. Our, we start off the uh, performance with our song, This Is Me. And the children's choir will be singing uh, Me and Dreams at the very end of the, of the performance. So it's going to be absolutely phenomenal. It's going to be awesome. Um, sorry, I did not get any videos of Sunday night their formal event, but I will insert a picture of myself and Jason, my husband. Um, we looked phenomenal. I was wearing a long black lace, lace dress. And my husband was wearing a suit and tie with a trench coat overcoat. And he looked, wow, I love that man. <laughs> He's absolutely amazing. We both have been married 20 years this coming June. We've been together 20, almost 22 years. So. And I love him as much, if not more, than I did when we first met. So. 
but we had an absolutely wonderful time. We laughed our butts off. Um, I didn't get any video of that. I, for some reason, I didn't even take out my silly phone. Insert another picture of me and some ladies from my church that I uh, volunteer with on Monday mornings. So, and we are heading back to Dollywood this coming Monday, so I may have a video coming from there. Hopefully, <laughs> if I remember to bring out my phone and take pictures. But, anyway, um, that's all I got for now. I'm heading over to the hospital to check on my dad. He's in a new room now, so I need to go find out where he's at and give the family updates because I love my family, but it's hard being the only one. I have a brother in Florida, but I do have a brother locally here who just calls me, hey, how's dad doing? Um, Dad's been in there for most of the last two weeks. I think there was a three-day gap in between where he wasn't in the hospital, and he's not been to see him once. So, as much as I love my brother, um, some help would be nice. Instead of feeling like it falls all on me. Um, one of my sons has been over there, and he's helped a great deal, especially the day Dad went into ICU. He was there with me. He brought Mom over so she could see Dad, just in case we, we lost him. But it looks like um, if everything keeps going okay, he might actually get to go home in a few days. So that will be wonderful. Of course, that means I'll have to step up my game, and which is going to be hard with me trying to go back to work next spring and taking my um, my refresher classes because I'll have to be driving to Nashville for those, and that's like a three-hour drive from here every week three-hour drive just one way. So that's a six-hour day right there. Six hours in my day just driving once a week for eight possibly more weeks. I think um, there's a clinical in there somewhere and it's, the course runs for nine weeks but it's an eight-week course so either there's a gap in the middle or that's the clinical. I don't know. I won't, find, I won't know for sure until I go on January 27th which is my next my first class but it's going to be difficult because dad can't drive anymore he's not going to be able to drive himself to his appointments mom scares me when she drives she scared me when she was driving 20 years ago so i'll be taking dad to back home to his appointments most of the time so i want to figure that out you know i'm just i'm trusting that that god's going to provide what i need and it's difficult I do have to say one thing for my brother. He's not been there at the hospital, but he does work as a paramedic, and they work 24-hour shifts. And then he's got family responsibilities on top of that, but then again, I've got family responsibilities, too. Just have more time, more flexible than he is. Anyway, that's all I got. You guys have a wonderful day. God bless, and I'll see you next time.